Tim Z, hi L, and oh, it looks like you've already found the new emotes. Yes, I uploaded more emotes. Wait, okay, wait, let me see. What are all the new ones? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Um, this one, this one, this one. Okay, I think these are the ones I added. We have a little, so like I've had these emotes for the longest time. I just, I don't have a Discord server set up. Uh, like I have a Discord server, but it's not set up for the public. Like right now the people that are in it are just in it because they want to be able to use my emotes across Discord. Um, so I have all these emotes that have just been like backlogged in my Discord, but I haven't had the like slots to use on Twitch. Um, but then yesterday I was like, wait a minute, they, they gave um, so many more, like, I should go see what I can add. So I added, yeah, we have that little humph emote, um, the little nodders emote, the little smug emote, the blankies, little boba, and then the smug, the knife, the cozy, and the nom. So um, I do have one more animated emote slot that I can put, but I don't have any more animated emotes. However, darkness always comes in here with that like arrive like emote, like like rushes the screen. Well, I found someone on VGen that, um, oops. I found someone on VGen that does that. Not specifically that, but like it's called Gremlin and they sorry i'm having a brain fart yeah so like it's called gremlin and they can animate animate it to like walk back and forth so i know like a website where you can kind of just like animate your emotes um little really like jankily <laughs> like you can do like a zoom in or like you know like a shake or whatever so i think i'm gonna try and get like a zoom in one or something like that <laughs> like with this uh little emote damn i wish i could like share a screen okay wait actually i can do it i can share the screen um here we go yeah this little scrungly little scrungly <laughs> emote <laughs> the little gremlin so yeah look for look forward to that when i get it i don't know when i'm gonna get it i'm on a wait list uh because it says the slots were full but i'm looking at their work queue and i don't really know what their work queue looks like but yeah <laughs> so we're gonna get one of those i did a uh, request actually i went through vgen and was like i know i said i'd stop buying art and that hasn't happened but i got like a little like pop like the bat 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 like emote but they're all like super cheap like less than twenty dollars canadian so that's why i'm like you know i can i can spend it on that so but uh but yeah I, I do have one more animated emote slot so yeah whatever emote that i requested that comes first i'll put it in there and then i do have no more <laughs> tier one emotes but i have five follower emotes so i need to go see what i want to put in there i'm thinking of maybe changing a few tier one emotes to the follower emotes like maybe like the wave and stuff like not any of the crazy ones you know you got you got sub for the crazy cute ones but um yeah that's just what i was thinking and oh my goodness okay wait wait let me bring up my stream oh my god okay wait wait for it wait for it Oh, whoops, nope, I don't want to click. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, you guys, there should now be closed captions. Um, if you go down to the settings of um, Twitch, there should be like a CC button now. Oh my god, I do not know how, like, I don't know how good they are, but... <laughs> Wait, let me do a few more lines. Um, let me go to my tools for a second. I hope I can change this on the fly. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Add punctuation, sure, why not? Mm. This thing is like too big for my screen. I can't like save it. Okay. <laughs> This might need some, I might need to like enunciate my words or something. 
It's so like tiny. I think it's because this is a plugin for OBS. Um, I was hoping to get something that would show on screen that I could see and play around with, but yeah, I don't know. It, I'm, I hope it helps for now though, for people who might come in and not have volume on or whatever, so. <laughs> and also, hi Jedi, sorry. I don't know if I said hi, <laughs> I saw you in here, but. Yodax just put the smug one you got me in Mio server. Hell yeah. Because you're deaf anyways. You have fly boo boo, right? Are you able to move where it is? Because, uh, no, I cannot move it. That's that's what I was saying. Like, this one's like a plugin for, like, OBS integrated to Twitch. I'm going to see if I can look around and find ones that are kind of like Coopsters. He did send me a server. But I don't know if the server that he sent me was just for captions in general or if it was the one that takes the captions and also puts them in the chat. Like whenever he talks, it also puts a message in the chat too. So like even if you missed it on stream, you can kind of like follow the conversation of the streamer and the chat. But I don't know if I want that. <laughs> I don't know if I want it posting to posting to that. So, but yeah. Anyways, for now, I hope it helps people who come in here. I will try to enunciate my words. I mostly um, read out all the narration of the story anyways, so even if it covers it, I'm still reading it out, so it should appear on the captions anyways, so hopefully. But yeah, I can't change like the size of it and like where, like I can pick how many lines it shows, and I picked four, I guess, because I don't know how fast it goes, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, or how long it stays up for. I have to fiddle around with it. I literally just like looked up a YouTube video and was like how to get captions in OBS. And there was like a minute and a half video saying how to. So um, I'm gonna take a sip of my tea though. Ooh, that's hot. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the emotes and the captions. Um, probably gonna be a, I know I was, I was like, I'm starting really early this week, so I'm gonna be getting off early so I can stream longer if I start earlier now. But today will be the exception to that because um, I'm happy I saw you guys on Saturday because Sunday I was definitely not in the mood, to, the capacity to stream. I literally got like, I drank so much and smoked so much on Saturday night. I was up until like five in the morning, which is like, even on a weekend, that's crazy for me. Like, like I'm still usually only up till like two or three in the morning, even on my weekends. But yeah, anyways, I was right straight, not feeling well on Sunday. <laughs> so uh, I was like, okay, hey, I'll just stream the next day. However, so yeah, I got like five hours of sleep from that, you know, from like 5 a.m. Sunday morning till 10 a.m. Sunday morning. And then now that I'm on my coworker shift working at 5 a.m., I only got like three, three and a half hours of sleep, almost four maybe, not even. I like, like I went to my computer after like 1 a.m. and then, or sorry, I went to my bed after 1 a.m. and then I like watched TikTok because I'm addicted. Um, so yeah <laughs> so i go and so i've got like i have not had a lot of sleep and when i got into work today but that one coworker is on vacation right my other coworker called in sick <laughs> so i was just by myself hi darkness hello hello there's new emotes by the way oh my god chaos what the fuck thank you for the gift sub what the hell oh my god who got one jern big sexy himself <laughs> some Korean name I can't read. Esadani and Corbin, yes. Thank you, Chaos, also hello. Yeah, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post all the new emotes again. I uploaded more emotes, okay, wait. At least they go in order of like uploading, I think. These should be all the new emotes um, that got added, so. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so when I got in today, my coworker had called in sick. So it was just me for the majority, like like the whole day. My like my other boss messaged me and said she was gonna be in once I'm off shift to cover the rest of the day. So basically from 1.30 till five. But like 
no work comes in after 2 p.m. Like, or even after 1 p.m. Like, all the work gets done in the in the day, and then after, like, in the afternoon, it's like, they're done. <laughs> like, there's no work. And I finished literally everything. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so nice. <laughs> I literally finished all the work that came in, so she had nothing. Because she's sick, and it's like, you shouldn't have to come in when you're sick. Like, I don't know why you offered to. Like, work would survive if no one was there for three and a half hours at the end of the day, okay? Because, like, like, yeah, I don't know. I just, like, why call in sick when you're just going to come in for three and a half hours of your shift anyways? Like, just... Don't, don't even like I got it I got it fam and yeah chaos it's a melon pan I got to pick it was like a YCH and I'm like the melon pan looks the cutest out of all of them a little piece of bread and you woke up because you got a notification oh my goodness I should totally change my go live tweet to like like the one that gets sent out when like if you have notifications on oh my god I should totally do that also hi Raylene hello hello but yeah so the whole thing was I've had like eight hours of sleep in the last two days and I worked solo all day and did all the work and I'm sleepy. I have tea right now. I'm hoping that wakes me up. I feel like I'm about, I'm getting a second wind right now, like right before, like when I hit go live and you know, I have like my five minutes of just like starting. I was just like screaming in the kitchen. <laughs> like if anyone's ever seen that TikTok cat that like raises its arms in the sky and it's like, Ugh! Like, just screaming, like, that's li that was literally me in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. The adrenaline, for sure. I was contemplating, like, maybe I'll take a nap right after work, and then I will stream at my normal time, 4 p.m. But, yeah, I started getting some, you know, my second wind energy, so I was like, fuck it, and I, and I really want to play which one. I'm, like, literally obsessed with this little game right now, like... I just want to see like the story. I want to see like whose day we're fucking up to grab their soul. I want to know like what is this contract with the goat we have? Like why is there a sleeping maiden in this shrine on my little piece of land in the swamp? I have so many questions. Sorry, this tea is like hitting right now. It is hitting. Hitting closed captions. Spell it right. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh shit, have you played it, Chaos? Yeah, it went on sale like a few weeks ago for like eight bucks. So I was like, yo, I'm scooping it up. But as I said in last stream, I thought it was a farming game. I didn't realize it was a game with a story, but you know, that was my fault. I didn't look into the game too much, so. It does, it reminds me of like Don't Starve Together and a Cozy, Gro cozy Grove or whatever that little bear game name is um but yeah i want to um who was i saying this to earlier yeah i want to get my redeems we have closed captions now at least we have some more emotes now now i want to go and like figure out my redeems and stuff like i had that cool like googly eye redeem that one time like you know I want that googly eye redeem again, but I need to like refine the plugin that like sets it up so that it like picks the, you know, the item in VTube Studio and all that stuff. So yeah, I have to go around because I want to like, uh, I don't know if you guys would care for this at all, but when I streamed as a flush tuber, I had a chibi redeem. And while I don't think I'll do a chibi redeem again, I do have a like, I bought a YCH emote pack um that just has like a bunch of like i can can i open it right now i have a bunch of like ychs and i totally wouldn't mind like um doing little uh f like you know oh one second i'm putting it on my screen like i got this little ych emote pack so i totally wouldn't mind like having a f a redeem that's just like your OC here basically because like I mean half the drawing's already done so <laughs> you know I wouldn't mind uh uh quickly banging these out like that cozy emote down there in the corner I can get that done in like 20 minutes like easy clap oh shit my helmet should be a redeem it should be wait it also feeds my pack rat habits because I love picking shit up right 
I still don't know where to get seashells though. If you know where to get a seashell, let me know because I needed a seashell for something, but I found it in a box and I had no idea where else to get it, so. Yeah, the googly eyes was fun. I still have it. It's still like in my like VTube studio. Like I could literally like throw it on right now, I think. Not that one. Sorry, I don't ever know what these options are. Google. Oh, wait, I just, I need two of them. I just have one. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, they're still here. I just, uh, uh, how do I, I don't know how to get rid of it. Uh, how do I get rid of it? Here we go. There we go. Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, Ooh, bacon, yummy. I want food. Flesh tuber sounds so ad. What else do you call it? It's a flesh tuber. It was my flesh, my real body. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So I was thinking maybe I'll have maybe those YCH emote things as a redeem if anyone would be interested in that. But or maybe I'll make my own little YCH. I don't know yet. We're gonna figure it out. This is an ad. I can tell by the music. Seriously, every day I get closer to YouTube Premium. Like, I may just buy it, like, tonight. I'm so sick of ads. <laughs> oh shit, you do? Oh fuck. Does it come from those, like, weird fish people? I haven't gone to the docks yet. We just, um, we did the first four. Like, the, what was it? The leech. The ox. The bear and oh god, what was the other one? I don't know, the fourth one. We finished the first four and now we're doing the next four. So what is it? The docks, the graveyard, the village, and the markets. So we just did the village one um, last stream with the ram. I don't know which one I want to do next. I kind of want to do the, maybe the fish or the market ones. I want to do the graveyard one last. The graveyard one looks like most fun so but yeah anyways i'm gonna hop over to the game and we're gonna get started so let me just move some things around we'll pause this music i will turn the game music back on and we will go in oh I should probably change the overlay to the game. There we go. Okay. Yes, right where we left off. <laughs> A little party of people. Thanks for all your help. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's see. What do we got next? The cat, the rat. Um, yeah, I kind of want to do the docks. An unlikely captain and the depths of the docks to plunge. So let's, we haven't even found that guy yet. So let's go, let's go mingle with the people. Those sheep are totally doing very, hell yeah. Audio link sheep, dude. Oh, this is not, that is not where I wanted to go. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at them. I am basic though, like I do like white and just black, like the <laughs> the ram dude. Uh, I forgot where the docks were. Okay, yeah, they are this way. Sweet. Did you finish the whole game, Chaos? I want to get all the achievements on Steam, so. Uh, don't kill me, don't kill me. Yeah, is this the man that I steal from? I assume. Maybe. Where the fuck? Is it right here? This person? Okay. Just the normie people? Oh shit, I didn't see anything on G with them. 
Excuse me, can you spare any seashells? Oh no, the one thing I just said that I didn't know how to get. Oh god, sorry, I peeked there. Um, I tried all along the beach, but everyone else always gets to them before I can. Bro, I can't find them either, so... She points along the shoreline where you see shores of fishermen digging in the sand. Every so often, one of them discovers a seashell and rejoices as if it were a gold nugget. Seashells? What's the big deal with seashells? The little girl looks down the docks to a particularly large ship at anchor. See that big boat over there? My dad's the captain. He was supposed to come ashore and tell me all about his adventures on the high seas like he always does, but he hasn't come out since they docked. So I tried to go and see him, but there's a grouchy sailor who says I can't go inside the boat unless I got seashells. So I tried to find some, but now everyone else is trying to find them too. There's not enough left for me. Hmm, sounds fishy, all right. You stay here, little one. Let me have a chat with this sailor and get to the bottom of this. Really? Oh, I bet he'll listen to a grown-up like you. I promise I won't move a muscle. Oh my god, it was spelt like muscle, like M-U-S-S-E-L. Also, if the captions, are they covering anything? Are they in a good spot? Or do they look like they are? Whoa there, where do you think you're hobbling off to? Me? Why I come to visit my er son? Yar har har. No, you yeah, ain't. The only family anyone got, anyone on this tub has is the sea herself. And no one gets aboard unless they pay the toll and seashells first. What's a gull brain swabby like you doing? want with a bunch of dirty seashells? Taint for me. The captain got his own business with them shells, and I ain't one to question him. Wow, they won't even let his daughter. They, they won't even let his daughter on the fucking boat. He's gonna charge his child. They're right on top of what you're reading, so not bad. Oh, sweet. Yay. So either bring me your dues or cast off. Okay. Well, apparently I have two already, but... Okay, let's see. I said it was the sailors down by the shore, so like... Because like, these people... Oh, a pluck pocket. Okay, there we go. Um, like, am I blind? Oh my god, we have enough, but like... I wish I knew if it was like... Oh, she dropped a bunch though. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. I think we got enough, hell yeah. Wow, we could just give the seashells to her and she should she could get in. Like why do why do we need these? <laughs> Bring me seat. Okay, yeah, here you go. You hold out your collect collection of shells for the sailor to inspect. Ah, fine booty. Excuse me? Go on and take them in the to the captain. He'll see you're fairly compensated for your services. Okay, let me in. Wait, I hope it's not her dad that I have to like Murder and get the soul of. Be kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah, let me just kill your dad. No big deal. No big deal. I totally am. How do I get this open? Ooh, a skeleton key. <gasps> oh. <gasps> I want to try making one later. A dapper fish sits sits beside a horde of seashells, obsessing over each one like a jeweler. He grabs the nearest one and runs his finned fingers carefully over the shell's spines. Bringing the seashell to his lips, he blows a low trumpeting note. His bulbous eyes light up with hope, as if waiting for something to happen. An uneventful moment passes and he tosses the disappointing shell aside. Or you useless piece of flotsam. He grabs the next shell on the pile. This one. It's gotta be this one. Ha oh, whoops. So I think it said that him I'm looking for the captain or something. The fish's eyes swivel at you suspiciously. Eh, are you daft? Can't you see my big hat? I am the captain. You don't look like the much much like the father of that little red haired girl on the docks. Oh, then you must be talking about my predecessor. Tragic, really. The fish shakes his head and blows sad bubbles from his pipe. He grabs the nearest shell and runs his fin fingers carefully over its spines. What happened? Poor bloke went overboard during a nasty typhoon. We tried to fish him out of out of the out of the drink, but I'm afraid to say he's with old Davy Jones now. As his trusty first mate, it was my responsibility to take up his mantle. He adjusts his oversized hat with pride. Now, you best to have something for me or else you wouldn't be wasting my time. You mean these seashells? The deckhand outside said you'd pay for them? The fish tears the shells out of your hands with such force that you nearly lose your footing. F 
seashell robbery. <laughs> he brings the first shell to his lips and blows it on it so hard that specks of slime go flying everywhere. It makes a pathetic squealing whistle. The fish slumps back down into his fat red chair, tossing aside the shell with sharp disdain. Cursed rubbish, I'll never find it. Find what? If you're looking to pick up a musical instrument, you're sure going about it in a funny way. Never you mind that. Just bring me more seashells. He flicks an odd-shaped coin object at your feet. Gives me a fucking sand dollar. What's this? I just traded you a bunch of shells. It's the currency of the future. If you get it on if you get in on the ground floor, you'll be richer than the stag prince when I'm in charge of things. So if you want to be so want to be set for life, you just bring me some more seashells. I think I'll manage my own investments, thank you. A shame I'll have to break the bad news to the child about her father. Oh shit. Wait, maybe like the maybe her father's not dead and like we fuck this guy up and we get the dude back. Maybe. I don't know. That's my that's my theory. Sorry, little girl. Did you get inside the boat? Have you seen my da? I'm afraid to inform you that your father was lost at sea. What? That that's impossible. He's the captain and and a captain never abandons his ship. Who told you that he was lost? Was it that slimy first mate, the sh the fish? As a matter of fact, it was. Why? Look, I already I'm sniffing it out. <laughs> I'm sniffing it. I'm sniffing it out. I knew it. Of course, that explains why everyone is collecting seashells. He's trying to find the conch. He's swindling- oh, sorry, this is me. He's swindling everyone in the town just so they'll help him find a conch shell. It's not just any conch. My dad used to tell a story to all those who'd listen. One night, during a terrible storm, a handsome young fellow, sailor fell overboard. As he sank down into the sea, a beautiful mermaid came to his rescue. She brought him back to the shore beneath the lighthouse. It was love at first sight, but alas, they couldn't be together. She had fins and he had feet. But they made a special promise. Whenever he missed her sweet voice, he'd stand under the lighthouse and he'd blow an enchanted conch. No matter where she was, she'd hear the sound and come to see him. That way, they could be together, even if only for a moment. Isn't that romantic? It's just a silly fairy tale, girl. But that gross fish believes it. I bet he thinks he can make the mermaid fall in love with him if he gets the conch. They both got fins after all. And maybe my dad's still out there. Maybe he got rescued by the mermaid, just like in the story. Oh please, you have to find the conch before the fish does. It might be the only way to find my dog. If the fish has everyone in town combing the beach for this thing, what makes you think I'll have a better chance? Maybe they're all looking in the wrong place? The sailor in the story lived in a lighthouse, not on the beach. You're right, little lady, you're right. I'm gonna have a sip of my tea. Oh, I missed your thing. Yeah, I love this witch design with her look. I know, right? Where was I? Oh, when you go to the bear, when I was like trying to get in and they're like you're not a soldier and i'm like bro i got a tin can on my head like a little piece of metal hat just like you do like let me in now i realize do i have hands or is it like or do i have wings underneath my little like shoal thing here i just realized like i'm a crow or some shit oh my god my tea's like already cold um, investigate the lighthouse at the docks. Where's that? Here. Wait. I lied, it was up more. She's got cute little burb feet. <laughs> right? Look at her. Oh, oops. Ah. I love my little bird feet. Let's just, uh... Grab some things we may need. Ooh, embalming salts come from that? That's pretty sick. The old lighthouse has seen better days. Although it towers high above the pier, the paint has faded and the windows have crusted over with layers of salt. The door refuses to budge. Growths of barnacles and coral seem to have sealed it shut. You put your ear to the keyhole and hear the unmistakable roar of the ocean inside. With your face close to the door, you spot words carved into the weathered wood. Lengthily babbling prose about love, loss, and the sea. Wait, why is like the picture like the boat? Not a lighthouse. <laughs> Blah, what terrible poetry, but mayhaps it's some forlorn magic left here by the lighthouse keeper. Well, I don't have the time to go fishing for long lost keys. A good dose of love juice ought to open up any embittered heart. Ooh, oh, look at this cool shit. Hell yeah, okay. What do we need? Do we need all of that? Craft a key to my heart. Okay. 
So we do need a skeleton key, which means we do need a mummified thingy, which means we need... Oh my god. I forgot what we use on the mummified things. Fuck. Okay. Um, and then what? A love potion? We need more dryad fruit, which means we need a cinder box. Oh my god, we just have enough. And algae and deep ones. I'm assuming the deep ones, um, those are those big guys, right? Okay. These guys, right? Tidal tincture. Oh my god, we need so much stuff. Oh my god, I need a jar of water. I need everything! Okay. Like, legit everything. Oh my god, I wanna cry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Where's the teleport? This game really makes you roam around again, so I know! <laughs> It's so- it can get overwhelming for sure, like my small ass brain has to remember all this. Okay. Tidal tincture. Okay, well let's start with this. We need this. So we need water, but we also need more jars. So let's go to the forest. I'm slowly but slowly but surely learning where everything is though. That's, um, nice. Where's the... this guy? Slowly, but surely. Where are the soot sprites? Okay, that should be enough. Uh, so we have this, and we need to go make it turn into water. Can I actually use it on the well or no? Damn, I can't. <laughs> and because we can make this. And we need, oh my god, we need embalming salts, okay we can make this, or spirit salt, sorry, I need to make this, okay I need another jar of water. Um... Jar of water. Cut salts and floor. And I need to go to a tree. Hi kids! Hello, hello! Yes, wait, look at all the emotes I added. And their glory. Look at them all. We have to go get a fruit, and I know there's a tree up here somewhere. Where are you? Right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, I'm leaving. Okay, we should be able to get some embalming salts from the swamp. So we're gonna head over there, which was up here. Honestly, I could probably teleport there faster. Yeah, so many! And I still have um, five follower emotes I can do, so I think I'm gonna put some of the tier one ones in the follower one. Like some of the 
some of the uh like more basic ones like the wave one and stuff like that yeah, i just want to catch some of these just in case i need them um Uh, H. Okay. And we need three slabs of that, and then we need a skipper scale. And I believe we need. Okay, we need these. So one. Oh, we just have enough. I'm pretty sure it's a crab trap. We need to get that. Okay, let's go to town and get some little stones. Yeah, I don't know how many, um, we'll see. I don't know how many souls I'm going to get today. I'm either, I'm for sure going to get one soul, but I might just cap it at one soul, depending on how long this takes. One or two. Oops. One rock, two rocks, three rocks. Just get a couple more if I can find any more rocks. Um, the hell is this? A skeleton key was just chilling on the ground? What? Oh my god, a mimic. Oh, I kind of want to kill it. Let's do it. Ooh, what did I get? Oh, I didn't really. I don't really get a bunch of cool stuff, but what are the what were the odds that it was just chilling on the ground right there? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we just need the skipper scale. Okay. Where's the docks again? Over here. There are some chests around that I need to go make these skeleton keys for then. Like, I know there's one in the well. Um, where's the little skipper, dude? Where you at? I know you're over here. Somewhere. Do I use it on him or he comes over to it? Oh my goodness, what was that? Uh, what the heck? <laughs> Thank you for gifting it to Concerned Ape. Oh my goodness, yes. Guys, the 1.6 update is coming out in March. I'm gonna be... Ugh, I don't know what I want to do yet. I don't know if I want to continue my playthrough of my like perfection one or if I want to start a new one. Ugh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm so torn. Oh yeah, I definitely want to stream it. That's why I'm like, do I start a new one or like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know, the Stardew Valley update will tide me over until Haunted Chocolate here comes out, so. Okay, where was this big guy? We just saw him. You, sir. Oh, that was easy. He only gave me one, L. Okay. Okay. So we need a skeleton key. We need this. We have... Oh my god. Okay, wait. We need more barnacles. Oh. Okay. We can make this. We can make this. We need to go make a skeleton key, so I need to go get a mummified head, and I totally forgot what we use to scare them off. So I'm gonna have to go check. <laughs> I will be patient. Just, they're gonna, like, they came out with, like, new little clothing in the winter and stuff for the for Stardew Valley. Like, it's so cute. I can't wait. Wait, this isn't where I want to be? This isn't the graveyard? Where's the graveyard? Down here? Hi, Holly! Hello, hello! 
I got closed captions now, girl. That they kind of work. <laughs> um, wait, what is this? Okay. Spirit salts again. I don't think we have anything for that. Okay. Okay, we need more embalming salts. You think there'd be embalming salts here, right? Like, or sorry, um, yeah. Oh, it's only on the swamp and the docks? Okay. One would assume that, um, I don't know, I feel like there would be some in the grave or around a house in the graveyard. Um, so it's probably the easiest place. the swamp. How are you, Holly? I'm off work so early. Oh shit, thank you for the 12 months, Holly. We have more emotes too. I added a bunch. Wait, let me show them again. I should just copy and paste them over and over again. Um, well, they were in my Discord, but now that I have uh, more emote slots on Twitch, I added a bunch, so... Those are all the new ones that I added. Let's go. Let me get these embalming salts. I think this is like all we need. Yeah. I'll have to come back and collect more later. Cause like I said, I know of two locked chests that I've seen. The smug one, yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. Where's this floating head? There you are. Wait, can I get a lot of them? Or is it just one? Yes, I can get a lot of them! <gasps> yes! Hell yeah. Don't hurt me. Okay, we can make the... Can we make it now? No, we can make the key now. Now we can make the key to my heart. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't know if you've ever seen this game before, Holly, but it's like, it's so cute. It reminds me of like, don't starve together. Kind of, with the story. I have a sip of my tea. Even though it's already like fucking cold. <laughs> yeah, it's a cute. It's like you're a little witch and you have to gather souls, but like you have to make all these fucking like spells and regents and you have to just go around. It's like a collecting sim kind of. You go around and like. Like, you can see what their weaknesses are, so if I use the pluck pocket on her, I can, like, get some stuff out of her. And you can, like, dig up things and collect. Oh, the embalming salts come from the barnacle thing sometimes. Sweet. She's gonna- m I know I need one! I you know, so, if you remember Me Megan? Was that what her name was? The curly-haired girl. Um, doesn't work at QH- or I almost talked to myself. No one listened to that. They don't work at the company anymore. Um, but they got me a mug warmer, but I think it's like really fucking like not. Like, I swear it costs like $5. Like, my mug wasn't melting onto the thingy, but it was like sticking to it. I don't know. Maybe it was melting. I don't know. I want a better one. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it was kind of cheap. Mm hmm Yeah, I feel like- well, link me yours if you, if you still have it. Yeah, link me yours and then I can scoop one up. Can I get in? Yay. 
The rusty lock makes it sound like a sloppy kiss as you turn the key inside it. Ew. Bubbling and creaking, the aged metal hinges uh, protest as you, as years of grime dissolve away. The wooden door swings open to reveal a wall of emerald seawater. You can see fish swimming about inside, but not a drop crosses the threshold. Oh my, the entire lighthouse must be filled up like a bottle. You prod the salty aperture with your fingers, sending ripples along the surface. Then, as if you pulled a stopper from a tub, the water begins to drain. Slowly at first, but quickly, building ferocious speed, the waves cascade around you. You catch notes of trumpeting sound droning above the crashing swells. The music turns to a soft whisper as the last of the flood is sucked away, leaving the inside of the lighthouse damp and encrusted with stranded sea life. You bend down to examine the source of the drainage. A golden conch shell is wedged between the waterlogged floorboards. Oh, whoops. You put the conch to your ear. It sounds as if an entire ocean is contained within it. Ah, what a marvel. I wonder if the mermaid will still answer its call after all this time. The child's story said to blow it out over the water under the lighthouse. So right here. Oh, we have a hype train going. Or it was going to end in like a few, but woo! Woo hype train! <laughs> Standing at the end of the pier, you blow the conch. You feel a warm breeze pass through the salty waves and uplift your spirits. A crystal clear trumpeting note rings out from the shell and seems to still the ocean waters to a mirror shine. Sweet laughter chants like a bell in response and a shadowy shape approaches from the depths below. Oh shit! Oh, come! Hello! Thank you for the raid! Hello, hello! Hi! I saw you playing last epoch. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I, I was lurking just because work was so fucking busy today. I started from, yeah, literally I was working 5 a.m. to 1.30. And you know me, I can usually slack off during work, right? Like, you see me on FF all the time. No, my one coworker's on vacation, so I'm covering for him. And my other coworker called in sick. So it was just me the whole day. And like, yeah, I was busy to say the least. So, damn. Yeah, but... uh Satch though. And then I was like, wait, I want to stream and I'm running off like three hours of sleep here and I'm just like getting my second win now and I'm like, I want to stream. Oh, cause I added, um, I added closed captions. Um, like now there's a button at the bottom, like where the settings are, that says CC. They aren't the greatest, but I wanted to add it in case anyone came by the stream and like was not listening the sound, so. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I might look into other options, though, like different plugins and stuff, so we'll see. But yeah, how was your stream? We're just collecting more souls as normal as usual until I beat this game. <laughs> I'm gonna beat this game in like, I don't know, three more streams, it feels like. I feel like I've streamed so much. And like, I was gone for like half of February. An enormous full-bodied figure breaches the stillness of the water, throwing her hair back joyfully and extending her arms out to the sun. She thrusts her body up onto an outcropping of rocks, splashing her long fin tail in the waves. Aha! Oh, hello. As the mermaid speaks, her voice is operatic. My gift, my gift, lain silent for years, now sounds again sad music for my ears. My lover long gone, but their memory still sweet. I thank you for the nostalgia. What would you entreat? I'm looking for a man lost at sea. He was the captain of that tall ship over there. You point to the high sails looming over the docks. I don't suppose you've had any dealings with him. This man I have seen, though his fate is not known. Placed on a plank, overboard he was thrown. Downward he plunged, though not to the bottom. Not a great, no, a great serpent swam up from the deep and got him. Oh, like he's dead? He was pushed overboard. That grubby fish told me he was lost in a storm. Did you see where this leviathan got to? The lagoon by the shore holds a secret below. Send away the tides and the serpent will show. Keep that conch close. Blow and I shall abide. I'll bring the strength of the sea to your side. With her song finished, she blows you a wet kiss. <laughs> and starts preening her hair with a spiny seashell. <laughs> Stream was chill. I'm really enjoying. Yes, let's go. Is there like a, is there like a story to it? Like a main story? Excuse me, pick up this shit. Also, I don't know if anyone is liking these cringy voices. I'm not a voice actor, but I kind of wanted to like add some flair to like people that we're talking to in the game. So, you know, deal with it. Deal with it. 
<laughs> I don't even know where I'm going right now. <laughs> okay, at the very bottom. Visit the lagoon. I have, okay, I have the main character talking in, in my own voice because it's like, why not? But yeah, I'm trying to do like little voices for everyone else. Uh, is it over here? Ooh, a boat. Are you still working, Holly? What time is it? Oh, it's so early. Ooh, can we loot anything? Standing guard over conspicuous thing of seashells. Oh, we're just gonna grab some stuff. Need these embalming salts for the skeleton keys I need to hoard. What the fuck? My teeth just got like really like hurty. Owie. Yes. <laughs> Give a character a British- no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> what is a British- I don't- I'm not doing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> you take a deep breath and press the conch to your lips. Its clarion call echoes across the rippling tide. You feel the swells around your feet, reverberating with the sound of the conch. I guess I'm kind of just reading a storybook to everyone. The water disappears so fast that you're unsure if the tides are receding into the ocean or if the seafloor itself is rising from the depths. Ooh. What is it? I can't even like, I'm having a brain fart on what a British action even, action, what accent even sounds like now. I'm flustered. <laughs> when the waters recede, you look across the island to a yawning cave opening. From within, you sense the steady rhythm of enormous breaths. What? Where? Oh wait, it opened up more over here. Ooh. Oh, my conch is gone though. What the fuck? I've been robbed. I've been robbed. Give. <laughs> no, I'm not even good. <laughs> Govna? <laughs> Spot a tea? A biscuit. <laughs> oh god, who is this? Hello? Oh my god, Junior, hi! Thank you for the raid! Please tell me they did not hear that fucking awful British accent for that one word. <laughs> Hello, what were you playing? Oh, he's big. He's a big boy. What were you playing? Yeah, what a time to come in. Hello, governor. <laughs> Hello, Junior. What were you playing? <laughs> oh god. Sorry, they asked me to do a British accent, so and I got flustered and didn't know how to do one, so maybe we'll give this guy a British accent. You can't help but shudder under the powerful gaze of the monstrosity before you. A booming voice sounds throughout the cavern as if you were in the very throat of the beast. Also, hello everyone that came with Junior. I'm Neota. I'm just like a variety streamer doing my own thing. Apparently British accents. I was doing a cheeky little Genshin stream. Oh, I wish I got into that game. Like, my friend, uh, like, he was all about it at the time. So I tried playing it, but I don't know. I just, like, never, like, grabbed me in and, like, got me to play it endlessly. If you do one, I always imagine Dick Van Dyke's accent in Mary Blum. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can see it. Okay, how do we do a British accent accent on this? I'm not gonna I don't know. <laughs> Who dares enter my sanctum? I I have come looking for a man lost at sea. The coils of the serpent shudder and wheeze. You brace yourself as the creature reels back and unleashes a cough loud enough to shatter a mountain. Excuse you, have you caught ill, Master Serpent? You landwalkers all alike, forever throwing your refuse into my waters. I have been poisoned by your insufferable detritus. My stomach aches, my inside burns. What's the matter? Did you swallow something you shouldn't have? I have swallowed many things. You shouldn't, you should not be here, land creature. Now, now, you're not well, and I may be able to help you. Open up that gob of yours and let me take a look inside. Perhaps you have come to strike the final blow against me. Why should I trust you? You're being dramatic. I'm not going to hurt you, but if you don't let me take a look inside your belly, the sickness will surely fester. Doubtful, but perhaps I can humor you if you prove that you are a friend to the ocean. Answer me these riddles three, only then will I trust your words, Landwalker. Totally fair, it ain't for everyone. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, like, I like, 
Like, I like games like that, and I love open world games, but I don't know. It just, like, didn't grab me. Like, it's also a gacha game, right? Like, where you summon stuff. I haven't, like, been a huge fan of gacha games, but... Like, I play one, and it's called Reverse 1999, and it's definitely nothing like... It's nothing like Genshin. <laughs> it's, like, using cards and turn-based battles. <laughs> Always the Cockney accent. The first of my questions. You pull my waters from the ground to quench your thirst. What manner of beast sits atop the well of your forest? Wait, what? Oh, fuck. I don't know. I feel like it was a dragon. Oh, no. I haven't played Star Rail either. Or Honkai. <laughs> I've never- I haven't played any of those. Ugh. There was one game my friend was telling me about that's coming out. Fuck, I wish I remembered it. It looked fucking sick as fuck. Was it a fish? It might have been a fish. Let's try. Another question. You may bury your dead in the earth, but there is no escape from the call of the deep. Whose watery gaze watches over your graveyard? Oh, God. I think it's a mermaid. I think. Final question. You landwalkers desire gold over all things, but in front of your banking house, what creature rules the true happiness? Oh no! Have we even seen the bank? Fuck, I don't know. Um, this is a- this is a guess. Oh, I guess I don't know is the ans- one of the answers, but... I'm gonna say a whale. The enormous creature rolls back its yellow eyes, bellowing with laughter. The laughter quickly su succumbs to another bout of violent coughing. Curse my miserable body. Can I not even enjoy a moment of levity? It appears I was mistaken about you, Landwalker. You have proven yourself worthy of my trust. The beast opens its cavernous, wide its cavernous jaws, filling the air with fishy stench. Enter, but heed my warning. Break your word, and I will digest you without hesitation. Okay, I feel like we got all those wrong, but maybe... I don't know. <laughs> there was no way we got all those right on accident. Hmm. It's the dad. The captain. It was at its butthole. Ahoy, don't tell me that overgrown eel gobbled you up as well. Come and warm yourself by the fire. We ain't going anywhere. And we ain't going anywhere soon. You look at the throbbing red walls of the monster's stomach and notice the discoloration and spotting. The campfire smoke is surely the cause of this beast's ailment. Ah, uh, actually, I came here looking for you, Captain. Eh? How'd you know I was Captain? There's a little minnow waiting on the docks for her father. Oh, my little girl, my heart and joy. I promised I'd see her as soon as we anchored, but I never got the chance. Has it anything to do with that fishy fellow captaining your ship? Raising his arms in anger, the man stomps his feet on the fleshy floor. The outburst causes the serpent, another coughing fit, rocking you back and forth. That rotten son of a barnacle, we were just a few weeks from home when he conspired what, conspired a mutiny. <laughs> Ever since I told him the tale of the mermaid and her conch, he got this hungry look in his eye. Ain't never seen someone so obsessed. So he and another and the other bad apples jumped me in the night and tied me up. The rest of my trusty crew as well. Then that flop and flounder made us walk the plank into the briny deep. I was praying to Neptune that he must have answered my call. This great bloody serpent swallowed me up and saved me from drowning. I've been stuck in here ever since. Can't seem to get out, but the fire keeps me from going all the way through the other end at least. Though with that metal head of yours, you ought to have no uh, trouble uh, passing through without much fuss. Just what I needed today. Say, all that smoke is causing our host great discomfort. I'm sure you'd both be happier if you parted ways. How do you suppose we do that? Let me see what I can cook up with that fire pit of yours. Uh, big brained at trust, right? Dipping out to finish. Yeah, no worries. Hydrate up with what? Tea or water or both? Let's do both. Mm -mm -mm. I might as well just chug the tea. It's like cold now, <laughs> lukewarm. Have a good rest of the day at work. Bye. Um, if one were to build up enough irritants, the beast may be provo provoked into explosively expelling the source. Okay, we got a lot to get. How do we get out of here? Actually, can we make any? Potion of Blight, Royal Incense, Royal Incense. Can we make that? Nope. Uh, can we make this? Yep. And can we make this? Yep. 
I don't think we have anything to make this. Yeah, we need a jar of water and booth caps. Uh, what else did we need to make? Craft allergic, allergenic potpourri. Oh my god, my teeth like hurt right now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, potion of light. We need a new eye. And what the fuck is this? A cat hairball. Okay. These all seem easy enough to get up through the little anus. Oh my god, ew, yeah, we did go through the little anus. Okay, uh, where are we starting? Let's finish making this thing. So we need a jar of water and leaf caps. Oops, where does this take me? Okay, good. A jar of water and caps. I don't remember where to get the caps. I think they kind of. I think they. Drop from the the um, logs. These yeah yeah. Did you get a chance to play Helldivers yet, Calm? Did we need water? Let's grab some more of this while we're here to... No, get back here! Nah, not yet. Dude, it's fucking hard! Oh look, what was it? It was a fish. It was a fish. It is... Yeah, it's kinda hard in my opinion. <laughs> At least the mission board like makes like no sense to me. What do we need again? This thing? Okay. Okay, we have the royal incense. We need an eye of newt. So I think we need a... Bait stick? Oh wait, I already have a bait stick! No! Damn it. Yeah, I played a bit. I... No one kill me, but I don't think it's game of the year. Well, I think it's fun. Um, there's definitely other games I want to play more. <laughs> um, Kibbs and I, uh, we were playing a mission and we accidentally, like, I had hard playing solo both, like, there's friendly fire in the game and Kibbs and I joined a mission with, like, these two other randoms. Bro, this fucking dude, like, he must have been new, but, like, literally killed me. And, like, if you went to look at the friendly fire damage, it was, like, he had 1,900. And, like, Kibbs and I had zero, and then the other guy had, like, 500 or something. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> oh, and the guy was hot micing the entire time, so, like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was just ridiculous. Um... Wait, what do I need to do? I need this, and then what? Yeah, and then I need a bait stick. No, come back. Before these guys get me. No, okay, okay. I have to do my best to dodge these, because these are gonna, like, fuck me up. Okay. Sorry, that was stressful. Okay, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. What was I trying to make? Oh my god, I need three of these now. Shit. Uh... But yeah, it's a uh, very democratic of them, right? Um, it's just the mission board's kind of confusing. Um, like, there's different difficulty levels, and uh, I don't know. Like, we joined on a friend on accident. I just fucking hit quick play and was like, "Let me join on this one." It was like, it was like green. But I didn't know that, that that meant anything, but I guess that means- I think green might mean that your friends are in that. Like, you have people on your friends list that are there. Couldn't tell you though, because it's not explained. <laughs> um, and we jump in. Oh god, okay. Sorry, I didn't see that guy there. Dude, I'd really like this right next to you if you can not kill me. Thanks. 
Um, so we jump in and you like land in these hell pods, right? And like explode on the ground. Yeah, little did we know that that was my friends playing. Like when they popped up on the screen, I was like, wait a minute, that's like my friend and his girlfriend. And we, we like land in right in the thick of it and just so many guys start shooting at us and I messaged my friend and I was like, oh shit, like, I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't realize like we're in on your guys' match. Like, cause Kibbs and I are like level four and he was like level 15 or something. And I think his girlfriend was like close to level 10. Um, but yeah, we were like, uh, sorry for joining. Cause they were trying to stealth around the match and we just kind of like came in guns a blazing. <laughs> so. There's that as well, like some some people could, you know, want to sneak around and you don't. Um, stuff like that. It is satisfying though, like I really like the, like, calling in airstrikes and stuff like that, it's fun. But yeah, wouldn't say it's game of the year. But I'm also not like a super, like, FPS player or like just a shooter player in general. What the fuck is a cat treat? Fuck, we need milk. <laughs> okay. Let's go get some more clay. Does this give me clay? Nope. It's fun though, it's fun though. Where's the best place to get clay? Probably the well. Actually, if I'm going to the well, I should see if I can make another skeleton key. Oh, yes, I have enough. Let's do it. From what I've seen, it looks fun, so no doubt I enjoy it. It's just that there's so many. Yeah, exactly. It's hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were saying that. I've actually only ever played FF14 and a bit of FF10. And those are the only FF games I've ever played. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, at least we're down by the water when we need the water. Look, they're not really dropping any. Ooh, 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 get back here. Get back here. And then we need to make two of these. One, two. Two. Oh, no! I needed milk, not water. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we have enough to make more. <laughs> I'm so stupid. And I think this needs, yeah, skeleton key. Okay, well. I don't even know what you use currency for in this game. Like, I think I had to use currency for one quest and that was it. Are you gonna stream it? FF7 Rebirth, I mean? Ow, what the fuck? Uh -huh. Ah, my leg hurts. What the heck? Owie. Oh my god, like it actually is like bad to me right now. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Body shutting down, guys. <laughs> I feel you. Like, so many games I'm play I play, especially story games, I'm like, oh, this would be like super fun to stream, but also like, what if I'm hella addicted and want to play it off stream, you know? But then you don't want your chat to, and like your audience to miss out on the story. I mean, yeah, they can go back and watch the VOD, but you know, it's fun to be there in real time. There you little cow. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I've been wanting to, like, just even play this little story game and, like, 
like all over the like all yesterday I wanted to play it too and I'm just like ugh I do not like I have the mental capacity to play it just on my own but not the mental capacity to stream it so where's this little kitty where are you little kitty here you go oh yeah give me that little hairball um and that was for this one and I think we have everything. Yay, we have everything! Exactly. You get me, Kong. You get me. Or just have like a chill one where it's like, I'm not, <laughs> just watch me play. It's literally just a playthrough. No talking whatsoever. You're just here in the background listening. <laughs> I forgot how we get over here again. Just over here again. Wait, are there any barnacles around? Any crusties so I can get more embalming salts for more keys? Oh god, no. Oh god. Yeah, we're good. If anything, I just disperse you. Oh, true, true, yeah, you could do that. Where am I going? Uh... Yeah, let me in, bro. I'm back! Okay. Potion of Light. You set the smelly preparations beside the fire. Real incense. You set the smelly preparations by the fire. You set the smelly- okay. You pile the eye-water ingredients on the campfire and fan the flames. Soon black smoke billows and fills every nook and cranny with its stinging odor. The captain scratches his nose and stifles a great sneeze. Phew, that's quite a concoction. The serpent will feel more than a tickle in its throat. You feel a deep rumbling through the fleshy floor. Get ready to set sail, Captain. We'll be out of here soon enough. You pick up the smoky coals, spreading the aggravating haze until a rumbling quake knocks you onto your backside. Landwalker, wh what have you done? What? The captain leaps into your arms and the two of you clutch each other tightly as muscles contract violently beneath your feet. A surging contraction forces you up and out of the serpent's blowhole like a gunshot. You shoot out of the serpent's cavern and clear over the lagoon. The captain holds you tighter than a life buoy um, as you sail across the blue sky. The tiny harbor front below grows closer and closer until the hulking mass of a ship rushes to meet up to you. With a crash of splintering wood and rushing water, everything goes black. Oh god. Oh, it's big, sexy, and sad. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this is um just the chibi model. I'm still waiting on, like, the person who did this chibi model is doing my full model. Uh, she's just working on it at the moment. But the chibi model is so cute. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, Chaos gifted a bunch of subs earlier, and you were one of the gift subbies. Yeah. Yeah, I got a little... I can take my jacket off too, but it's cold. It's raining outside, so. She is incredibly talented. Thank you. I'll pass along your words to her. She's great. Her name is, um, how do you shout out in this game again? Shout out. Okay, wait, I have to make sure I'm spelling it right. Cause your Twitter name is different. Okay, yeah, it is. Here you go. Uh, 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 where am I? Where am I? I do it right? There we go. Yeah, that's her. That's my model mama. Yeah, my model mama. Well, she's also my friend. I've, I've known her since before she be she be tubed. Like, I've known her for years and years. I want to say, like, over, like, I don't even know. Like, over eight years for sure. Like, originally, my... So, my, my design wasn't done by her. Um... But uh, I got my design d done by someone else because I was originally going to have my model, my like full model created by the same person that did my design. But they were like, um, just like life shit had come up and there were like six other models in front of me and he was getting like 
one model done um every like six months or something so i was like okay i kind of want my model faster than that I, I feel like it was a sigh of relief that he didn't have to work on mine because i think he just kind of like took on maybe a bit too many <laughs> and uh just like kind of overworked himself and like got burnt out so i was like you know what i'm gonna do you a solid you don't need to do my model like i'll go somewhere else so then i asked catnap so i was like hey like would you be interested in doing my like full 2d model because like i want it faster than two years <laughs> three years or something and she's like yeah so she started like a lot of it already and i think she's worked on it on her stream too um but yeah, I'm excited for it when it gets finished, so. Mm -hmm. I love her. She has such grimy energy. It's the best. Uh, you regain your senses and get to your feet. Despite feeling a bit soggy, everything seems to be in working order. Did we destroy the ship? Oh my god, we did. Behind you, the fish's base of operations has been cracked open like an egg. Fishermen are busy rescuing shell shock sailors from the water. Oh my, what happened here? Y you didn't see it? A great bloody cannonball came rocketing out of the sky and st and, sto and stove in the captain's pride and joy. Poor girl didn't even stand a chance. I'd never seen a shot so powerful. I think all hands managed to get clear of the wreckage, though. All hands? What about the fish? The buccaneer wipes a single salty tear from his face. He points to something familiar that has washed up on the nearby shore. You know what they say. The captain always goes down with the ship. Hell yeah. We fucked him up. It appears to be the bicorn captain's hat last worn by the fish, waterlogged and shot through with splinters. He reached down to pick it up, but it flops on the sand like a like some beach sea creature. The soul of the fish. Hell yeah, fuck that dude. <laughs> Kato is amazing. She is such an inspo. The fact that she just learned everything herself too, like just when, like, when VTubing was starting to become a thing, she's just like, fuck it, YOLO. I mean, she already drew. She was already an artist, but she's like, I'm gonna go learn Live 2D too, and holy shit, Live 2D is scary. Like, I've gone in there and, like, barely animated one emote, very simply. I can't imagine people going in and rigging whole models to, like, move like this. You find the captain and- oh. Yeah, you find the captain and his daughter in a loving embrace. Oh, dad, I just knew you'd come back. My sweet little sea star, I'm so sorry I made you wait for so long. Can you ever forget, forgive this old wash up? Oh, look at them, they're so cute. Um, sick. So we did another one though. How many souls do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. One, two, three. Okay, okay. Is that how many we have? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we just did the round of the fish. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to do the cat next. Let's do this one. A ruckus in the market square. Not uncommon, but this one has a certain feline scent to it. I think up here is the market. If we got one soul, I'll think I'll, yeah, I think I'll get another soul. Actually. Thank you, where are my embalming salts? Nowhere, okay. Here they are. You have a really relaxing voice. Uh, oh my God, thank you. I feel like my voice is so annoying. <laughs> I'm trying to give, so the main character, us little witch here is, um. I'm just using my normal voice to narrate her. We're like a grandma. We're a little witch. But then everyone else I'm trying to give like some sort of voice to. But I'm not a voice actor, so <laughs> this is just gonna be cringe. <laughs> oh, where am I going? A unicorn? Oh, this guy. Hitched to a- oh, he's like Eeyore. Hitched to a post, this tragic creature raises its tear-filled eyes at you. Despite its depressing appearance, you find yourself somehow feeling lighter. What on earth is a rainbow spirit doing in the midst of a market brawl? I thought your kind thrived on love and sunshine and all that kind of sappy dribble. Oh, sure. Normally this market's a wonderful place to be, but lately it's been nothing but misery and unrest. Just look around. All I see are three little brats puffing out their chests and barking like mutts. Surely a hot meal and a good night's rest will cool their heads? I'm afraid it goes deeper than that. You see, all sorts of awful things have been happening. Vandalism in folks' gardens, trash in the well, wagon wheels tampered with, rumors spreading like wildfire about this or that, cheats and lies. 
Now I'm usually the one who keeps the peace around here with my trusty magic horn, makes the truth flow, and keeps folk honest. Dude, it's so droopy. <laughs> it's flaccid. <laughs> your horn's flaccid, girl. <laughs> oh my god, your voice is like really cozy. Oh, ah, that makes me so happy. Put the blushies on. <laughs> Yay. I need, I need, Khan's gonna help me with my audio so I don't peek though, because I have a tendency to like, not scream, but <laughs> like be loud and then, <laughs> and then uh, it peaks. So I need to figure out that. I ain't, I ain't techie. Um, soon, Khan, soon. Maybe not today, because your girl's just gonna go nap after this stream, okay? I can already tell that my second win is a... Uh, <laughs> it's gonna wear off soon. I can fix her chat. Oh, I want to get a chat emote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was saying I'm covering my coworker's shift at the moment and he works 5 a.m. to 1.30 and I got like five hours of sleep Saturday night, like into Sunday. Like I went to bed Sunday at 5 a.m., woke up at 10 a.m. And then I had three hour, like three and a half hours of sleep last night. And then I just worked eight hours and now I'm streaming right after, so. Oh, yeah. But like, I okay, I added new emotes and I set up closed captions um, and I wanted to test the closed captions out, so. Yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> but with all this sad deception and treachery in the air, it's as limp as a noodle. My powers are useless. Tisk tisk, a droopy horn is no laughing matter. It's no laughing matter, guys, not a droopy horn. If you had a bit of a pick-me-up, do you suppose you could get this place under control? Sure as sugar, I just need to get some of my strength back. A good snack ought to perk you right up. Ooh, a rainbow roll. I want one of those, what the heck? What do we need? Dough and a glitter bomb. Okay, yeah, let's just fucking blow up their food. Oh, I need another jar. <laughs> Okay, what do we need to make dough? More milk, more eggs, more grain. Okay, so we need to make three jars. Three jars, okay. Back to the forest. Back to the forest. Is that 40 sub point? Oh, is it? I don't know, it might just be like what I put to just have like a sub goal. I actually have to check. I'm curious now. I'm going to check. Um, 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 it would be under viewer rewards. I don't know how I find out. Okay, yeah, no. This is like, this is it. <laughs> it's like, unlock progress. Um, mission, get 115 subscriber points. Reward, plus zero standard emote slots and one animated slot. And I'm at like 32 out of 115. Yeah, I don't ever foresee ever hitting that in the foreseeable future. <laughs> I just have to pick and choose my emotes. <laughs> like which ones uh, I think the best will be. For the stream. I just stream for fun, so like I have I have a full-time job in real life, so this is just like my I wanna play games and I wanna stream it. I'm here for a good time. Yeah, I don't feel like collecting all those frogs. I'm lazy. I'm just gonna grab all this and we needed just one normal jar. Oh my god, we just barely have enough. Okay, we need one normal jar. And two things of milk. Okay, we gotta go to the fields. No, definitely not need a nice firm horn. Must be very exactly. Uh, I think the fields are down here. No flaccid horns here. 
Okay, now that I know where we get fucking grain from, Jesus Christ. That one day it took me like 30 minutes to find this grain. Uh, and then we need the chickens. Give me your eggs. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay. And don't. And rainbow roll. Hmm. That was easy. <laughs> and mark it. Let's feed this unicorn. Here you go. The miserable creature dips its snout to investigate your tasty dessert. Is is this for me? It troubles me to see a benevolent beast afflicted by such melancholy, and the quicker that horn of yours works, the quicker we can sort out this mess. Throwing back its head, the unicorn swallows the odd confection without even chewing. The spots on its back glow a soft lavender, and its hooved feet levitate off the ground for just a moment. From above, a thin sliver of sunlight breaks through the clouds and sparkles off the unicorn's horn. Ooh, it's erect again! <laughs> Momentarily blinding you in a dazzling flash. When you look back, the unicorn is happily wagging its tail at you. Its horn looks reinvigorated with a pearlescent sheen. Ah, that hit the spot. Looks like the old truth detector is working again. Well, what are you waiting for? Blast those fools. The unicorn lowers its horn and takes aim at the feuding shopkeepers. A long moment passes as the unicorn's body quivers with anticipation. Um. Wait, I swear this never happens. My powers are all charged up, but none of them are actually lying. So they really did sabotage each other's businesses then? My horn will be only will only be able to blast the lies out of someone who's truly false. As far as they know, they're each telling the truth. Hmm, which means someone else must be responsible for this mess. The feuding shopkeepers run out of insults to hurl at each other and all storm back to their businesses in a huff. I'll go investigate the scenes of the crimes at their shops. Maybe I can turn up some clues. Hi, Brayden! What's up, what's up? How's your Monday going? Okay, where am I going? Uh, find some clues. Okay, okay. Going down here, I think. Hmm. Anything for me to loot? Anything for me to loot? Stealing from your shop. Arg! That blasted Chandler. I'll wring his scrawny neck. Calm yourself, Master Blacksmith. You're being played for a fool. Ha! Fat chance only some hard evidence could ever convince me that it wasn't that blundering knave. If someone really has been sneaking around in here, there ought to be some clues left behind. Only evidence could possibly change my mind. Okay. Oh, Cat's confession. Okay. Um... Okay, do I have to like touch all of them? Completely mundane. Oh! Some fireworks have been hastily shoved into this coal barrel. A tag on the firework reads, Property of Town Watch. If lost, please return to the village gallows. Okay, probably not that. I can't... I can't reach that one. Or these. What? Oh, okay. Never mind. That was my next clue. Meh, working extremely slow. Stuff uh, still being situated on the back end. Still have to work manually for the- Ew. Yuck. <laughs> when do you think that'll all be started? I don't know where I'm going next. Ooh, look at that big ass egg! <gasps> Oh, no, 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 no. Damn. I really wanted that egg. Okay, who's next? Hmm. 
Here we go. Hello. Grr, that oafish blacksmith just grinds my gears. I ought to give him a smack on the brow next time I see him. Master Baker, please, settle down. You've been tricked. Ha. I very much doubt that. Only a fool will believe that story without any evidence. Fine, you want evidence? I'll get you some. The true criminal must have left clues around here somewhere. Well, have you got... Okay. Perfectly ordinary bread barrel locker. Okay. Ooh, free shit. This strange vase, vase, vase <laughs> doesn't look like it belongs in a bakery, and there's still some bugs and dirt inside. An inscription on the side reads, Harold Grimes, uh, hanged under the old grave tree for crimes he never committed. Interesting. Weeks? Oh no. It's a startup, so everything is quite fresh in the works. But will be a bumpy month or two. Aw. Well, then it'll be established and then it'll be good, but... Is it fun at least? Are you enjoying it? Where are we going? The Undying Flame. Ooh, that sounds like a cool name for a shop. <laughs> Better insufferable baker. I'll tear his nose off the next time I see him. Settle down, Master Chandler. Uh, Chandler? Like Chandelier. Candler? <laughs> You're being duped by a prankster. Ha, a prankster? It was that baker, I'm sure of it. I don't see no evidence uh, to the contrary. You want evidence, eh? I bet there's a clue around here that won't unveil the truth. Yeah, I'm getting your evidence, bro. Calm the fuck down. Oh, first, I'm gonna loot your fucking <laughs> shop. Thank you. <laughs> this bag smells suspiciously of sulfur and has a shipping address stamped on it. Pier 3 Imports Dockyards. Okay. Ooh, we're like a little detective now. Bitcoin, hello! What that witch do? Be old. <laughs> JK is serious. I can cast spells. We just helped this unicorn. We made a little him a little yummy rainbow roll because he had a little he had a little flaccid horn. And we made it become erect again. Go us. We're so good. We're so nice. <laughs> it's going good. What about you? I've been like obsessed with this game. I've literally like streamed three times in like the last like five days. Like who am I? Who am I? Obsessed. Oh my god, I have to go so far down. Nope, that's a dead end. I was bamboozled. I thought this game was like a farming game. I was wrong, and now I'm invested. Oh, oh god. Okay, don't chase me. A pelican. Hazy water. Oh, this is the shipping address for the sulfur crates, but you don't find anything incriminating. You do, however, spot something wedged between the watery piles of the pier. Something must have gotten knocked off the docks or was purposely disposed of. Let's reel it up and take a look-see. Ooh, we have a fishing line! We have one! Oh my god, I'm sorry, I just like almost choked on my saliva. I found this forever ago and I've never used it. Actually, I can probably put this up here too. You fish out an empty sulfur tin with a wad of wet paper stuffed inside. Though the ink is running, you can still make out the loopy handwriting. Another brilliant strategy by the world's most brilliant strategist. That's me, the cat. If you're reading this, then be sure to write my name down in the history books. This sulfur smells so rotten it will put those candlesticks the Chandler, the Chandler makes right in the trash. He'll think the baker did it when I dust the shop with the flour. Well then, this is proof of the Chandler's looking for. Cat's confession. Let's bring it back to him. Doing well, work out a little more stuff, Phil, but it's no more. But it's to be expected with a promotion. Oh shit! Congrats! Pre congrats! You'll get it. You'll get it! I kind of got recently promoted um, at the tail end of last year. However, it was kind of awkward because, like, my coworker and I that like got our like little promotions we've been kind of like doing the job of the promotion since march of last year but we just weren't getting paid for it <laughs> so that was nice <laughs> but 
Yeah, still chill at my job. While you're farming your stream hours. I know I am. Like, how many... Like, I, I felt like my stream recap was so sad last year. It was, like, 24 streams. So that's, like, what? Two streams a month? If, if it came out to that, because it probably didn't. Like, I probably did, like, five in one month and then, like, five in another or something like that. I gotta get them in. I gotta get my quota in. Retroactively probation period. We, yes, yes. Get some evidence or get out. There you go. The Chandler's cheeks flush a bright red, stomping and shouting at the cat's confession. Why that yowling pest? That's my whole livelihood she's meddling with. You agree that the baker's innocent then? Hm, pa. Looks like he didn't have a hand in the this horrible crime, though this his bread's still stale if you ask me. As long as you three put a stop to the ruckus, maybe we can put an end to this grudge after all. I'll keep my eyes peeled for that darned cat. She won't show her nose around here again, that's for sure. How do you know that? She doesn't know I told you. We on that grind now, yeah. I mean, I am streaming more, but my streams are often, I feel like, on the shorter side. But like I said, I work a full-time job as well, so I don't know. I think like little two-hour streams are nice. It's like, I don't know, you don't have to invest your whole day in a six-hour stream or whatever, and like you don't feel like you're missing out. I don't know. That's what works for me for now anyways, so. Like, right now I'm living with my parents, so when I stream, I'm trying to stream when they're not home, which is like, I mean, they, they still both work full-time jobs, so they don't usually get home till like 6, 7, between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. PST. So usually when I stream after work, I try and stream from like 4 until like 6 p.m. But I plan on moving out after the summer, the summer sometime, so... And I plan on moving out solo, like I'm gonna try and get a place just by myself with no roommates, so then I can like, yeah, stream whenever I want, be as loud as as I want, be a fucking gremlin, like, I get so, like, kind of nervous when I'm home and I'm streaming and my, and my parents are home, because, like, obviously I'm, like, in a room with a closed door, but I always feel like, what if they're listening to me and, like, I don't know, second-hand embarrassment over here? I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The garage door or, um... My mom, she has a like a hybrid, uh, like a gas and an electric car or whatever, uh, and the charger is like right at the front of the door, so I can usually hear, hear her like, because this office room is like, right when you walk into the house, it's right to your left. It's like it's supposed to be like the sunroom, but I took it over. So <laughs> nice of them to let me have a whole room to like myself. Like thank God it wasn't furnished in here. Like they still hadn't done anything with the room. There was just like a chair in here and like this vanity thing behind me that I just kept in here because I was like, you don't need to move that, so. But I basically own this house. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's mine. Oh wait, where am I going? The gallows, I think. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> I got distracted. Where are we going? The gallows. I didn't realize. Oh, the yeah, they're probably in the town square, aren't they? Because, you know. Oh my god. Can I get over here? Nope. I'm lost. How do I get back down there? Maybe let's grab some more. Don't attack me. Don't. Okay, we're good. Here we go. You peer through the slatted planks of the town's gallows. It doesn't look like it's seen much use recently. The space underneath it is stuffed with evidence storage and par parade decorations, including a box of dusty fireworks. An errant note catches your eye, but you can't quite fit your hand through the wooden planks. Drat, I'll need something thin and grabby. What about my little foot? Uh, okay. One of these thingies. Fuck! Okay. We need a crab claw, so we need one of these. And we just barely have enough. Thank god. Okay. And we're... Okay. Sick. Yeah, no worries, Con. You got this! Wait, how many people are new? <laughs> how many How many people haven't cleared it yet? <laughs> you got this! I believe in you! 
I need a crab. Here you go. Get in there. Thank you. Easy clap. Quite a bit, oh lord. Well, hopefully it doesn't take you too long. I don't really need to log into FF at the moment. Which is why I did not log in yesterday. Um, how do I use it? Okay. You pluck out the slip of paper from under the gallows. It looks like a torn notebook page, hastily stuffed in a crack, almost wanting to be discovered. If you're reading this, then you've no doubt been witness to my greatest crime spree. I, the cat, will be remembered throughout history as the greatest underground mastermind. The town of Flatfoots will never notice a couple parade fireworks missing, and that blacksmith buffoon will lose more than a few chest hairs. How arrogant. The proof ought to convince the blacksmith that of the cat's involvement. Take it. I like how they're still partying. I think it's just people needing gear. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's not bad. Also, I have no idea where I'm going right now. I don't know. Where did he live? Over here, I think. I think. I'm gonna chug my tea. It's cold. I drank it. <laughs> there was like one sip left. <laughs> Only evidence could possibly change my mind. Here you go. The man's beady eyes go wide with anger as he reads through the paper. Why, that no good cat. The whole market could have gone up in a big ball of fire. I take it you'll let the Chandler off the hook? Sure, sure. Looks like he wasn't involved in this plot, though I still don't care for his candles much. Excellent. Maybe with the three, you three at peace, we can get to the bottom of this. I still need to do one more, right? Yeah, hanging tree. Oh, thank you. I'm literally a shrimp right now. <laughs> like, actually, I'm stretching. Oh. Okay. Oh no, I'm yawning. The second wind is wearing off. Oh no. No. I don't know if the new expansion is out yet, but I need- Nope, it's not. You have until summer. Uh, July maybe? June or July? It comes out in the summer though. You're good. You're good. What server do you play on, Raylene? Or I guess what data center? And then what server? Uh, where am I looking again? Is it the old hanging tree? Oops, I totally passed it. The crooked fellow peers down at you as if you're someone else coming to make fun of his eternal predicament. You spot a piece of paper floating inside his translucent body. What you got there? Don't suppose I can convince you to cough up that paper, can I? Probably not. Spirit salt? Shit, I don't think we... Do we? <gasps> yes, we don't have to go anywhere. Primal, okay. I'm on Aether. I'm on Cactuar. Cactuar. Hi, Yuki! I messaged you, Yuki. Um, who did the the boba art? I, I, I realized why I didn't name it uh, with the artist name on it because I have a watermarked version that has their like socials on it. So I was like scrambling around trying to figure out where the fuck I got it from after stream. <laughs> you sprinkle the exercising salts onto the ghost. He sputters and sneezes up the paper suspended inside his head before going back to swinging as if nothing had happened. Looks like a page of someone's diary. My best plan yet. These grave bugs will make the baker's buns taste like embalmed declares. I'll just dump the dirt out of the stupid urn to carry them. This should be proof enough to convince the baker who the real cul culprit was. Woo! Oh, nice, hopefully they can 
They have it! What do you mean? Yeah! They have data center traveling already. When you hop servers on a data center, I think your name changes to Wanderer, but if you swap data centers, uh, it says Traveler. I think you can do it in the, um, you have to be in the character screen menu though. Like you right click and you say data center visit and then you can like pick who you, what data center you want to go to. Cause I've definitely been over to um, wherever Diabolos and Balmung are. <laughs> How am I doing? Waku waku! I'm doing good! Just hella tired, but I wanted to stream because I added some emotes and clo- well, I basically wanted to stream because I added closed captioning, or at least a plugin for it, and you can turn it on in the settings in the bottom. Well, if you're on PC in the bottom right corner of the stream. <laughs> so, but really, yeah! Yeah, I mean, it wasn't too long ago they came out with it. I want to say it was like... Endwalker sometime. I don't know if it came with Endwalker, but I'm too much of a degenerate not to diggle when I hear buns. <laughs> I'm gonna punch all your buns. I'm gonna punch all your buns. I'm a tough tootin' baby. I can dance like I meant. I can shake him my fanny. I can shake him my can <laughs> or whatever the Adventure Time song is. <laughs> okay, where's this baker? I feel like I'm getting a third wind now of like how tired I am because now I kind of want to do the graveyard after this. Baker! Okay, if I'm going loopy, it's because I'm running off of like eight hours of sleep in the last two days and I already have been up since five in the morning working my nine hour job or whatever. So, you know. <laughs> Maybe it was me chugging the last bit of my tea that just gave me some caffeine. <laughs> well, have you got any evidence yet? Here you go. The baker's brows arch in anger as he reads the cat's confession. That unrefined little urchin, how dare she tamper with my buns like that? You'll forgive the blacksmith then? Huh? Well, sure. Doesn't look like he was involved in this at all. Splendid. If Ether can get along, uh, along long enough, we can bring the real culprit to justice. Now that these three fellows have cooled down a bit, I better have a chat with that plump purple pony to figure out the best way to confront this swindler. Let's go. What was that face for, Brayden? Plus one win, let's go. Okay, little unicorn. Oh joy, you're back. Did you find anything in those shops? It would appear your market is plagued by the mastermind schemes of the cat. Well, maybe not so masterminded. She did leave behind a bunch of clues for me to find. As though summoned, a furry shape somersaults into onto a nearby rooftop with a flourish. Nyaha! -ha! I see you're a fan of my genius accomplishments. Well, you're in luck. Soon I'll have this whole village at my mercy. Quickly, your magic horn! The unicorn shuffles its stumpy legs to get a better shot at the monologue and feline. With a flick of her tail, the cat disappears, leaving only her voice cackling in the air. Nyaha! You'll have to be faster than that, slow pokes. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not very maneuverable in high pressure situations. Uh, don't fret. We'll just have to make sure she stands still next time. I should be able to concoct a tantalizing kitty treat strong enough to keep her attention. I'll set it up by that big statue there. You just get ready to fire her. Feline curio is literally a cat scratching post. <laughs> you need sleep. Yeah, well, I was thinking of maybe having a nap like right after work and then streaming, but then I was like, no, I want to stream. So I also need a shower. So I have a feeling I'm going to go shower and then it's just going to wake me up. And then, you know, I'll just have like the best sleep tonight, even though I'll still probably stay up till two in the morning, one in the morning at least. <laughs> I'm a DJ. I can't stop. <laughs> I have to DJ. <laughs> okay, what does this need? We need more milk for that cat treat. Okay, we have a sardine though, or a fish, so that's good. We need some spices. Okay, I've got this. And whatever this cat toy is, which we need a pigeon beak and a feather. Ew, a mimic's toe? What the fuck? We already got one earlier though, so. Okay, a pigeon beak. If I were a pigeon. I think it said they were here. I don't see any. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. 
No, we don't have enough fucking coal. Wait, I mean, who the fuck are you? It did say pigeons were here, right? Yeah, village and market. The fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we just need a small trap. Easy clap. I think we need two of them, actually. Oh, yes. Because we'll need one for the feather, too. Or actually, these guys might give feathers. Nope. Dude, this guy almost died. <laughs> he came in right after his friend just fucking poofed. I still need to lure the cat. I want to go in the portal. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we're gonna go to the forest. And this works out because we need to go get clay as well, so. Now we wait for our victim. Thank you. That was to make this. And then we just need the milk tree. So we need one more. One more clay thing. Actually, we should probably get more fire coal things. I think we have enough soot sprites, I'm not even gonna go for him. No, I am. I lied. <laughs> Sleeps for the week. I'm gonna work early in the morning. Stays up late anyways. I know! We had so many videos to watch. It's not my fault that like, Otstarva and like, Spooky Loops and Smallish Beans and stuff all are coming out with episodes. I swear, it felt like there was like, a lull of content and now, ever since the new, um, killer on the PTB, everyone's like, let's just pump out a bunch of videos. You know, I'm just gonna loot this whole place because I feel like I can never have enough jars in this game, so... Whatever. At least I felt- I felt productive today at work, though. And like I said, I did literally all the work. Like, I had a meeting at the very end of my day, like the last 30 minutes, until I was off shift. But like, two things of work came in like four minutes before that meeting started, and I was like, no, I'm gonna multitask this so that I can just, uh... <laughs> then I can still get it all. Like, I'm just gonna work on it while I'm in this meeting and, like, half pay attention. I just wanted, like, Amanda's sick. She shouldn't have to come into work just to, like, just because there's only me there, like... Like, she called in for sick for, like, half the day. It's like, what a waste. <laughs> I mean, I guess you have that three and a half hours elsewhere, but... Jern, hello! You got a gift sub earlier. Um, my friend uh, did like five gift subs and you were one of the lucky ones. Enjoy those emotes. She's a professional. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a professional worker on not a lot of sleep. And I think I am gonna keep streaming because I'm, I'm having fun <laughs> i'm okay but i'm only gonna go until i get the last one the last soul that we need well we need four more after well technically we need five more but yeah oh you place down the scrumptious looking cat treat and duck behind a pumpkin to hide within moments you hear the telltale laughter of the cat over the market stalls yeah -ha -ha, that's the best you can do what do you take me for a basic alley cat you'll need more than a lump of garbage to catch me 
Despite her lofty words, you see her eyes go wide and her tail flick as the scent of fish and catnip, catnip reaches her nose. Why, I'm the most sophisticated criminal underworld this world has ever... Say, what is that, tuna? You give the signal to the, to the unicorn, but see that the beast is still facing the entirely wrong direction. What? Ugh, must I do everything around here? What the heck? You slap the unicorn on its haunches, jolting it out of the daydream. Huh, what? Oh, right, the cat. The beast carefully takes aim, making sure to account for the drag and wind speed direction. All right, I've got her this time. By the light of the... <laughs> What is it? By the light of the truth, I banish all lives from thee! A brilliant spark of rainbow light emits from the unicorn's horn and streaks towards the preoccupied cat. Oh shit, she fucking blew up. Girl must have been filled with lies. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm a professional insomnia. Also, Jaren, I hope you're doing well. How's your Monday treating you? When the colorful smoke clears, you can't see hide. You can't see hide nor hair of the cat, only a smoldering pair of fancy leather boots remain near the statue. Wow, for a moment there I thought all that talk about your magic horn was pure hogwash. I, I mean, usually it doesn't have such an explosive effect, I only meant to expel the lies from her, but I guess she was all lies, didn't have a truthful bone in her body, didn't I just say that? <laughs> well, whatever the reason, I suppose she won't be blighting your market any longer. Yes, that's right, I can't wait for life to get back to normal, thank you for all your help. You glance at one of the cat's boots slumped over on its side. I'd better go gather her up. You pick up the smoking boots of the cat. A rainbow hue radiates off the leather. They smell strongly of feet and candy. <laughs> feet and candy. The soul of the cat. Though you may suspect she, you, though you suspect she may have eight more lives left. That's pretty cute. Okay. Now we have the rat. This is the one I wanted to do. This is the one I was saving for last. Okay, let me in. We are back! Yes! Chill hop, hello! <laughs> yeah, I... Sorry that everyone has to hear this again. I, I got closed captions on my stream, or like, kind of, and I wanted to test them out, so... And I really wanted to play this game, so... That's what we're doing. <laughs> Okay, and I think, yeah, we had already started this the last time we came here. I forgot what voice I gave him. Did you use the OBS? Yeah, yeah, I just, I honestly, I just Googled closed captions for OBS and someone had like literally an under two minute video and it was just like, go to the GitHub, get the latest version and then just throw it in the plugins thing and then go. So I don't know like, how well it is i'm gonna test it out i might get like a fancier one or something um but yeah it's working for now at least it's there <laughs> some version of it so like earlier what the hell did it say it was like fly boo boo i have no idea what i was trying to say um when that came up so you're back. It's a demon from the underworld, isn't it? Or, or maybe a lich come to summon her up an army of darkness. Relax, it's just your run-of-the-mill banshee. A banshee? I knew it. No wonder the dead have been so angry lately. How are they supposed to get any rest with all this racket? Hmm. But a spirit only becomes a banshee when it's been terribly wronged. Who used to live in that house? I, I don't know. I don't rightly know. It's an abandoned since. It's been aban abandoned since before my time. Always pretty creepy, though. That place was so haunted that I couldn't get in for a better look. A good exorcism ought to clean it right up. This sort of stuff happened often. Oh, why, just last year I had to deal with a ghoul that wouldn't stop breaking into the crypt. Darn feller was trying to find his long-lost love or something. The old man turns to rummage through his cluttered shack, looking for something. Anyways, eventually I had to call in the Grave Squad exterminators. They got that nasty ghoul rounded up before he befouled too many tombs, but they left behind this, uh, where to get to. Ah, they gave me this to ward off any angry spirits that might be left over. He holds up a rusty looking lantern. A ghost lamp? I thought those things got recalled because of all those possessions. Huh? I never heard nothing about that. Now this thing ain't powerful enough for banshees, but it should keep the lesser spirits away. He gives the lamp a shake, but only a puff of purple smoke rises off the wick. Ah, jeez. Looks like I forgot to keep it fueled up. I'd go and get the gas myself, but with the graveyard in this state... He shrugs feebly at you. You're hopeless. What does the ghost lamp need for fuel? He squints at the fading label on the back of the lantern. Let's see. Okay, Batwing. Okay, well, we can give him this. 
Phantom goo feels as if it's att attempting to pull you down beneath the soil. Okay. Crypt crawler silk and three bat wings. So I think we need bait sticks for the bats. I think. Yeah, it's definitely the best. In yeah. It works. It works for now until, like I said, I can find something. And yeah, Tamsi, the smug one is so good. Okay. So we need three more bats. So we need to make three more bait sticks, which I do not have. And uh, the arachnid thing, we need... Okay, so we need six of these toxic thistles. Okay, let's go grab some. Yeah, Vigen has is dangerous. Like I know Skeb existed for like getting art commissioned and stuff, but like I don't know, Vigen's like oh my god, get away from me. Vigen's so much more like easy. Oh my god, oh my god, okay, don't kill me. Where is it? I don't know where it went. Okay, we're good, we're good. I wonder if that troll's fart ever cleared up. Nope. I'm dodging, I'm dodging. Nope. Nope. I'm the strafe queen. Nope. What? No! How did she get me? You fucking sucker so long. Is there any down here in a safe? Oh, thank god. all these in the safe spot. <laughs> Any over here? Oh, there's two up here. Oh, but there's a fucking roast. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. Maybe we need to make one of these. And one of these. And two bait sticks, I think. Okay, we're good. We're set. We are set. Why do I feel like this one's gonna be super fast? I think they're also taking faster, just I'm like remembering, I'm remembering where like ingredients are. <laughs> like before I had to like open up the menu every single fucking time. Yeah, eat it. Oh my god, he took forever. Oh, he gave me two bat wings. What? I mean, as it should be. Literally has two wings on it. And let's go get the little Spooter. Spooter, where you at? Come here. Take that. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. Okay, we're good. Let's go light this lantern. Like how I still have these bottled despairs when I thought I needed fucking three of them and I feel like I'm never gonna need them in this game again. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put them in my other... oops. I'm gonna put them down here. Hello, here you go. The, we the web wings still flap of their own accord. The crypt crawler's uh, silk is thick and smells oddly of lilac. I seem to have misplaced my reading glasses, so maybe you better prepare the mixture. You read off the well-worn instructions printed on the lantern. They're horridly confusing and riddled with spe spelling mistakes. Oh, 
I accidentally clicked too fast. Whoops. Uh, you grind together the gruesome ingredients into a waxy paste before rendering the whole mixture down over the gravekeeper's cooking fire. The odor coming from the wet bubbling soup makes the hairs in your nose prickle, but you have pow you power through it and pour the ghastly oil into the lantern with the rusty funnel. The gravekeeper raises one caterpillar-like eyebrow at you. No kaboom? Perfect. Give her a good shake. You swish the oil around inside the lamp and light the wick. Slowly, a bluish, unearthly glow fills the space around you. The light makes your teeth itch when you look directly at it. Take it. Take a look at that. Fresh as a daisy. Just wave it around any wayward ghoulies try to, to accost you. It should clear the way to that miserable banshee. If and maybe you could ask her what all the fuss is about. We're just gonna walk into a banshee's, like, area and fucking... Tell her to leave. <laughs> Welcome back, Jedi! I didn't even know you left, to be honest. <laughs> I guess I missed it in the chat. Okay. Is this what we're doing? Where's the banshee upstairs? Oh, they're all going away. Hell yeah. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let me loot the place. Ooh, what is that? A coat of arms? Probably has something to do with the quest. You got a phone call. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Tell them to stop bothering you. It's your day off. <laughs> oh, a locked chest. Okay. Oh, look at her. She's so scary looking. Hello. Squeak! <laughs> come to taunt me as well. Taunt you? I come to find out why you're throwing such a tantrum. You raise the dead with your wailing. What? The wraith's, wraith's jaw drops to her collarbone, howling as her ghostly arms reach for you. You quickly raise the ghost lamp high, bathing the room in the cold light. The spirit recoils away, covering her eyes with translucent, translucent hands. Yee, it burns! Why do you torment me so? Oh, quit being so dramatic. Now tell me, what's got you so upset? It's gone. That sneak, that thieving plague-ridden rodent stole it. What's gone? Who stole it? My family's crypt was defiled by that wretched rat. My most precious treasure, my brooch, it's gone. I will not rest until I have it back. Ah, uh, the rat stole the bro brooch from your crypt. That's enough to make anyone upset. Yes, it was stolen, ripped from my breast. Where has it gone? Well, if the rat pilfered it off your remains, maybe he left behind a clue as to where he ran off to. But that crypt is jammed full of caskets. How will I know which box is yours? What was your name? Ugh, I, I don't remember. Who was I? Everything is clouded by my suffering. Well, this was your house, right? There must be some relics in here that can point me in the right direction. Okay, okay, I get it. I'll get to the bottom of this, then you can stop all this howling. Okay, well, it's probably that coat of arms down at the bottom. Oh. This corroded picture frame has almost completely deteriorated. You can barely make out ghostly figures sitting together on a rotten canvas. A shame. Time has almost forgotten this family. Maybe I can restore this little piece of them? How might I do that? A restorative bell? Okay. Two of these, okay. Done and done and oh my god, why do we always need the fucking jackbone? Okay, that's fine. This heavy box seems like it might uh, contain important family documents, but it's locked tight. Hm. I doubt the key is anywhere around here. I better just make my own. Ooh, we actually might have enough for that. <gasps> we do. Oh yeah. Actually, wait, I hope we needed a skeleton key. Okay, thank god we did. Uh, this heavy box seems like it might contain important family doc- Okay, here we go. Oh, I just used it on it. You crack open the chest to find a collection of moldy papers and bills, but a heavy book at the bottom looks promising. In the cracked leather-bound tome, you browse through long-forgotten obituaries, and we mourn her death, the third of her siblings to pass. Much beloved, she will long be remembered for her beautiful singing voice and tireless pursuit of justice. Sounds like our banshee, the third to die. That will mean that our casket will be uh, the third one in a row. Okay. I did not know that's how they bury people. 
And then we just need this over here, I believe. This embossed shield looks like it might be a coat of arms, but the face is so badly encrusted with patina that you can't quite make out what it is. Hm, a good cleaning ought to get this looking spick and span. Purification water recipe. Okay, we need another one of these. And fuck, how do we get ectoplasm goo again? Have to check. I don't exactly remember. Um, I think it comes from these specters. Okay. I'm gonna need more of that. More bat wings. Can we even make another bait stick? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Let's go do that. I wanted to collect everything first or like get everything that we needed before we left that place so I don't have to come back. Oh shit, could I get water out of that? Well, damn it. Wait, actually, I think I can get water down here too. Yes. It was water I needed, right? Yeah, okay. Um, beat stick. Oh no, I'm a shrimp again. Keep shrimping. And then. Okay, we need a stick. So we need one rope and one twig. So we will go oh, to the forest. Don't worry, dude, we'll put you out of your misery soon. Oh my god, okay. Fuck it, Ella. Okay, maybe we don't go near that. <laughs> I need to make another one of these, actually. Which I think we need. Yeah, I need to collect tomorrow, okay. At least we're already in the forest. What the fuck? Where are they? Hello? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'll just barely have two. Okay. Um uh, we need that. And that and Two of those. Okay, we're good. We are good. Might as well pick up a little bit more just in case. Okay. Where is the specter? Where you at, bro? Here it is. Thank you. And then we can make that. Wait. Oh shit, we still need to make a restorative doll too. Fuck, okay. Um, we needed... Fuck, another one of these. And fuck, what did the bone jacks need? 
Oh, what did they need? What did they need? A snap vine, I think. Okay. I think we can get more. Um, everything we need will be in the fields, I think. That we need left. Just need to find some. Oh, there we go up here. Need some more of these. Okay. So we make this. And we make this. And was I right? Oh, thank God. Okay. I love the sound of the grasshoppers. <laughs> They're so cute. Let's save this lady. Helping my daughter cook, but ooh, she likes the way I do rice. How do you do rice? What did this need? You clean away the grit and grime to reveal a proud lion staring back at you. This crest looks like it matches one of the burial rooms in the crypt. Okay, okay, we're finding out what we need. Um, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, do I actually have to like have it on my fucking person? Color and light flood back into the faded painting to reveal a content looking family. You recognize one of the younger girls by her shock of hair and brooch on her chest. That must be the, our wailing wraith, a granddaughter by the looks of it, so she must be on the lower tiers of the crypt. Okay. I think everything's I need to know. The Banshee's body is buried under the crest of the lion. She's a granddaughter, so she'll be on the bottom row. And she was the third one to pass away. Okay. Well, let's go. Ow! Bro. Oh, I have to use it. I'm an idiot. Like, I actually have to click on it. I use chicken bouillon, garlic, onion powder, lemon pepper. Ooh, that sounds really fucking good. <laughs> I am jealous. <laughs> I am having leftovers for dinner. Oh, you're back. Find anything about our predicament? It seems like you've got a great ro grave robber on the loose. The banshee had a brooch stolen from her family crypt. Oh, shit. Smiling Jack. Thank you for the follow. And hello, hello. Welcome in. A great robber? Oh damn, these despicable degenerates with the increasing in ghosts. I haven't been able to do my nightly patrols. I need to get to the crypt and find her body. The thief might have left something behind. Well, good luck. That place has more spiders than I have liver spots, so you'll understand if I stay behind. <laughs> yeah, I never thought you were going to come to begin with. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? Oh god. Woo. Okay, lion... On a row for grandchildren, third sibling. She's air frying some chicken and boiling some baby. Oof. Yeah, that sounds really good. I have, I'll be having like urban crusted salmon, green beans, this like spicy cabbage, like red pepper flake kind of mixture thing and uh, wild rice. I think that's what I had. Okay, wait. Uh, it was a lion. <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, get the fuck off me, thanks. I know there's another spider over here somewhere. Okay. 
Oh my god, I didn't know it was right there. I'm so sorry. That scared me. Okay. Bottom row. Wait, what? On a row for grandchildren and the third sibling. Wait, what? Is it this one? I mean... This is a line, right? Am I wrong? It looks like a line to me. Am I blind? There's literally only two caskets in here. Oh wait, it's on the door, it's on the door. It's right here, third one. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> you dig your nails underneath the loose plaque and begin to pull. The rusty bolts pop off the corners of the end cap as the whole thing rips off from the mossy wall. You toss away the grave cover and peer inside the dark hollow, holding your lamp aloft. Dozens of small beady eyes blink back at you. Rats! You quickly jump aside as a torrent of vermin come pouring out from the coffin. Filthy little biters come to pilfer more graves. Squeaking and hissing, they flow like some lumpy liquid rushing th back towards the entrance. You get the feeling that these rats are far more or organized than any normal pest. Where are you off to, you little devils? Running back to your master, perhaps? Oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> oh god, I'm so scared of that fucking spider. Am I following them still? I have a whole head of cabbage I need to cook up. Do it! Yeah, I don't know how my mom makes it. It's like... Yeah, she, I know she puts red pepper flakes in it. Maybe some, like, spicy Thai sauce or something. I don't know. Okay, you guys need to run fucking faster. You guys are slow as fuck. Ooh. A cinder box. Ugh, we don't have enough, no! Okay, easy though. Just need fireflies. Red pepper flakes, bacon, salt pepper. Ooh, that sounds good too. Oh, now I'm hungry. Oh well. It's not dinner time yet, so. Hello, back again to fuck up your life. There's no escape. I think we're gonna get this soul pretty soon. Brushes quickly subsumed in tongues of flame, scattering the rats beneath. Their frenzied root is, or route is not without order, though. In a wave of fur and claws, they scramble through the graveyard towards their next hiding place. What? Forgot I have my little thingy now. The horde of rats pour between the bars of this crumbling mausoleum, swirling in a gyre uh, just out of reach. Once more, they have found temporary refuge. Such a closed-in space seems ripe for a good smoking. They won't be able to hold their breath for long. Don't tell me we need another one. Okay, no, we don't. Oh, thank God, we have just enough to make it. The smoke emitting from the pellet is thick and concentrated. Even though they are below the worst of it, the choking fumes are enough to flush the rats out. Once more they rush forward, this time fleeing towards the shadow of Ruin Church. Oh, where? Wait, what? Ooh. The flood of rats squeeze through the bars of a great brass gate and disappear into the ruins of a squat abandoned church. Heavy chain binds up the gate, and the rusted padlock is well beyond accepting any sort of key. Something more potent will be needed to open it. Acidic unguent? Unguent recipe? We've almost unlocked everything! Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We have algae. We need word water and potion of blight. Okay, we need water. So we'll make one of those. Potion of blight. We'll need another eye of newt. So we'll need another bait stick. We'll also need to get more 
vines and reeds. Okay. We can get water from over here, though. Take a picture by this tree. <laughs> okay, we need to go to the swamp and we need to go to the fields. I got brisket in the freezer. I just like had brisket for the first time when I went to visit Kibbs. It was so good. Do it. <laughs> What? <laughs> Don't kill me. Yeah, well, apparently I was being made fun of because I've never, like, whenever I think of barbecue, like, food, I just think of, like, meat with, like, barbecue sauce on it. Like, um, and that's it. And Kibbs was like, no, you have not had real barbecue if that's like what you're basing your barbecue off of. So I was like, okay. So we went to this, uh, one of his friends has like a, um, he has like a, what is it? Like a food truck, like a barbecue food truck. Um, I've gone to Montana's, but I like haven't like, gotten like barbecue there like i've like just like taint like i haven't gotten like ribs and like all this stuff or like yeah so um like i think whatever i ordered from montana's i got this like mushroom thing like it was it was just like a meal i don't think it was like barbecue-y but yeah anyways that's my life so we tried some we had like what is it the like the ends of the brisket or something i don't know what they're called there's a name for them and those were yummy too oh it was just like really good in general i fucking hate this area like why is this so large okay attack and then boom and then wait there's no newt here no i need it i need it i'm dying oh my god oh my god oh my god Oh, thank god I have enough for this. Okay. I was bamboozled. I thought newts always came out of those things, but I guess they don't. Well, you can dip the brisket in different barbecue sauces if that's what you want, but yeah, uh, they just slow cook it with a good spice rub on it until you get a really nice bark on it so it's tender. Oof. Burnt ends. Yeah, that's what they were called. Yeah, they were... They were yummy. I just love food, though, so... Okay, oh, here we go, here we go. Get back here, you little bitch. There you go. Happy eating. Thank you. And we needed to go back to the fields. Yeah, it was uh, really fucking good. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would eat again. Oops, I didn't mean to come here. I don't know if I'd like that. I don't I'm not really a beans person. Like brown beans. Give me these reeds. I mean lazy grass. Are there any more I can pick really quick? Nope. Okay. Um what were we making again? A blight potion. <laughs> Sorry. Bark of pew. Oh, does it? Okay. Well, maybe I would like them then. Yeah, just like a can of like brown beans is like not appetizing to me. Like it just they don't. Yeah. <laughs> Icky. Where am I going? Let me get my light. Woo! The 
The iron of the padlock wheezes in protest as it melts away into the blackened goo. The chain falls away and you push open the gate to the churchy- or er, ch churchy? The churchyard beyond. What the fuck? The churchy. I'll go with the churchy, guys. I'm checking if there's any secrets. No, these beans- but okay. Oh yeah, those might be more yummy then. Oh god, there's so many. Will they attack me? Tarnished candle holder. You attempt to pick up the candlestick, but find it attached to some mechanism inside the altar. A latch flips and you uh, watch a stack of boxes slide aside to reveal a hidden crack in the wall. Ooh, but is there anything else in here that I can loot? Oh, yes there is! Anything over here? Yes there is! Okay. I thought we were dealing like with one big rat, not a bunch of little rats. Maybe we are still dealing with one big rat. I lied. Oh, there he is. Look at him. What can I loot here, sir? What of yours can I take? Okay. Hey, who blaze who in the blazes are you? Who let you in, huh? I let myself in. You should really hide your secret lair a bit better. Though, I must admit, this is quite the collection you've acquired here. Why, what's it to you? You looking to make a trade? We got whatever you need, sister. If you can pay the price, that is. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for an old antique brooch, and I heard you're the one to talk to. Yeah, we got plenty of brooches. Any of these booties catch your eye? The bourbon flips open his co cloak, and you see it's uh, lined with rows and rows of jewelry. You lean in for a closer look. The items all look like priceless family heirlooms, but you can't pick out the one belonging to the banshee. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'll need to confer with my friend as to which is the right one. The rat narrows his eyes suspiciously and hides his wares back inside his cloak. And just who is that friend of yours? Why, she's the original owner, of course. She would very much like her property returned to her. No deal. We don't make trades with the dead. But you're happy enough to steal from them? Let me just go tell my friend where your little hideout is. I'm sure she'll be more persuasive than myself. Fool, this place is sacred ground. No bad spirits can enter here. Now get out before we pick you clean. All right, all right. No need to be crass. Little bitch. Come back for you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I am, but... <laughs> I am coming back. No spirits may cross the threshold, eh? Well, then I'll just have to invite one in myself. You eye the flat surface of the barren altar. It looks like the perfect place to conduct a seance. <gasps> a spirit board recipe! What is this? Okay. Okay, we have bones. Oh, we need more fucking... Okay, we have enough blood. We need another one of these. Oh my god, we need another Skeeter Snoot. We need a dog hair, which means we need one of these, which means we need one of these, which means we need one of these. Oh my god, okay. How the fuck do I get out of here? Okay, we need a lot, and I already forgot what we all needed. I know we need clay. We're gonna start with the clay. I don't think we need anything from the graveyard, so... Clay, 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 clay. Forest. And I don't remember how to get a Skeeter Snoot either. I thought. Okay, wait. Let's get more cinder thingies. Oh, here's the dog. Shit, what did we need for the morsel thing again? Just a jar of water. Okay, we'll come back up here after. Don't attack me! I'm just minding my business. I'll come pet you later. I wish there were more places to like farm play in this game. Like, how much fucking play have we had to come farm? <laughs> Too much. Oh, hydrate! Thank you! I talk so much just from like reading all this that I keep forgetting. Oh, 
Okay. Wait, we already made a jar. I'm an idiot. We just needed water. Okay. Well, we still needed to come down here for the water, so. Let's make this. Oh, let's make this. And this. And we'll go get that dog hair. Here you go. Eat it. Okay. Spirit bird. Okay. So. And then we need this, which we need a snap line, which we need a skeeter snoot, and we still need some rope. Should be rope up here. We'll just kill this for good measure. Oh, we can finally collect those things with the fucking. Stupid tree is not going to attack us anymore. There's like lots of shit over here. Don't attack me! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Skeeter. Okay, I need a smoke pellet. I need a smoke pellet. Thankfully, I have enough. And gather around, bitches! Come here. I'm gonna fuck everyone up. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Thank you. Look how many materials I just got. Okay. Now we can make sewing kit. The snap bun. And to the fields. I don't think I've killed a turkey yet. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Now what? Let's go! <laughs> Let's summon a red to fuck this rat up. Uh, where the fuck is this again? <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. There we go. Actually, one sec. I'm gonna check something really quick. You close your eyes and place your hands on the planchette of the spirit board. Concentrating hard, you try to focus your thoughts towards the haunted mansion. Hello? Can you hear me? Show me a sign. The planchette begins to twitch and move, slowly tracing out letters on the board. Who is this? 
Oh, come on now. Who else would it be? I'm calling to let you know I found where the rat is. You might want to come down here and speak to him. The lights flicker within the halls and dim down until you are drenched in total darkness. Only a blood-red glow throbs from the altar. Wind rushes through the church and you can hear the squealing of rats as they dive for cover. Um, uh, on the gale some, uh, come the screams of the dead, reverberating through the halls. The spirit board shudders and splits with noise, and a skeletal hand claws its way out from the peephole of the cracked planchette. Ayy! He is here! I can smell him! Right through that crack in the wall, actually. The vengeful spirit howls and flies straight through your body as she sweeps down to the rat's hideout. Where? That's chilly. Wait for me. I need to see how this ends. Yeah, I need to see how you fuck him up. You! You dare take from me! How did that- You wait! It's just a simple misunderstanding! I didn't- Even in your hour of judgment, you lie! Um, the rat's bulging eyes lock into your des- uh, in desperation. This is your doing, isn't it? You let her in here! I'm merely helping to settle a dispute. You thought all your grave robbing wouldn't come with consequences? Face justice for your crimes, thief! The dead have come for you! The banshee whirls around like a hurricane, drawing with her an innumerable host of innumerable host of ghosts and spirits. No, no, get off us, you wretches! You are dead, finders keepers! Spectral claws grab onto the rat and his verminous minions and drag them squealing into the underworld. Oh hell yeah. Well, get fucked. With the crack of thunder, the howling wind evaporates. Not a single rat remains. A calm falls over the banshee as she reaches down and picks up one of the scattered brooches left on the floor. My, my brooch, it's back. It's safe. I, I can finally sleep. She clutches her treasure to her breast and looks at you with a final crooked smile before fading away in a glimmer of ghostly smoke. In the eerie silence of the cave, you see something squirming in the debris. The little rat tail. You brush aside some pilfered treasure and uncover a writhing mass of pink rat tails, tangled together like worms. Ugh, looks like they got all knotted up trying to escape. The soul of the rat. Well, I kind of want to take a picture in his hideout. You sense the souls of the fish, cat, rat, and ram pulse with captive malign malignancy. The goat will be wanting to take custody of these four. Best not to keep them waiting. Okay, I want to take a picture. Oh. It's ruining my picture. Actually. I'm gonna light it up. Beautiful. Okay, let's go back to the goat. Uh, welcome back, Tom. That was pretty fast. <laughs> How many times did you need to clear it? We're just getting back to um, the goat. Just the once. Oh, hell yeah. Easy clap, easy clap. We're going to the goat. We got all the next four souls. I'm back. The goat snorts with delight at your approach. Wonderful, you were returned with more souls. These were even more troublesome than the last. I'll be glad to be rid of them. If you would be so kind, bring them to the shrine. Then we will be, we will be one step closer to concluding our business together. The shrine awaits an offering, the bronze bell. The clanging of the ram's bronze bell rings out in your ears, many voices chanting in unison, grabbing hands, trampling feet. The cat skin boots. The, ma the machinations of the cat unfold before you as her boots burn away before the shrine. Pieces moving on a game board. Cheats, laughter, lies. The rat knot. Sensations of the rat fill your mind. Tiny feet scratching at crumbling walls, digging cold earth, snapping brittle bones, taking, stealing, hiding. Captain's cap. You hold your breath as the salty, fe salty feeling of the fish washes over you. The sound of creaking wood, jagged barnacles, crashing waves, fading light, betrayal. Oh, you got a piece of beer near of it. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, your shoulders straighten as if a, if a great weight is lifted from them. The maiden stirs in her sleep, troubled by fitful dreams. Only four more souls left until our contract is fulfilled, but I expect it has been a tiring day. Come, you should get some sleep. Yes, I should rest. 
was this fucking weird ass trance I come in like every time I see the goat and he's like you should rest and I'm like yes I'm being hypnotized totally I'm gonna go get the next group of quests uh, you step out into the morning mist and find the goat with a mouthful of grass. Terrible testing tuft. I don't understand this creature's appetite. With luck, you won't have to suffer the mortal whims of a farm animal much longer. After I collect the last souls, you can go back to the void from which you came. Ah, uh, the void can wait. You're much better company anyway. But you are correct. There is only one leg left to our journey. The final four souls have revealed themselves to me. Where are they this time? Three linger in spaces you have already tread. The village, the market, and the fields. And the fourth resides far to the north, on the cold slopes of the mountain. I'll track them down, no matter where they try to hide. Marvelous. Sweet! We got the next group of them! What do we have? Uh, the hog? Hogs? The stag? The hawk? And the wolf. Ooh, the wolf in the village! A wolf in sheep's clothing! Oh shit! <laughs> Is there sheep there? Hell yeah. Okay. But with that, I'm going to end the stream there because, um, yeah, I'm ending it there. <laughs> that seems like a good spot to end it, so let me exit out of here. We can go back to just chatting. Let me come back over here. Here. Yeah, that was so much fun. I'm loving this game. It's gonna be over soon, but I feel like I could finish it in one more stream, probably. If it was if it's as long as this one. So yeah, let me see if anyone else is streaming. Um Nope. No one is. That's new. No one's streaming on a Monday. No one wants to stream today. Rip. There's like, yeah, no. I wonder, let's see. Is anyone else playing this game? Literally two other people. Where's this person at? Oh no, I get, I get scared raiding random people because like, I don't know who they are or what they're like. But let me see what this person's doing. Sorry, I have to watch an ad before we go over. If we go over, but... <laughs> They're also a VTuber. There's only two other people streaming in this game right now, so... <gasps> Let me see. Eva Bardoff is the person I'm looking at. They're like a little ram. No, I'm too scared. I'm not going there. We're just gonna end it. <laughs> I'm too scared to go anywhere, so. Um, but yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna end the stream here then. Um, thanks for everyone for hanging out and for the gift subs and the follows. I hope those of you with subs are enjoying the extra emotes. Um, like I said, stay tuned. I am going to go see if I can move some, move some um emotes around to have the follower emotes and then i have one more animated emote slot so yeah gonna try and get something for that um i hope concerned ape pops by next stream oh my god he would never can you imagine if he was at the um like the orchestra like sitting there somewhere i think he went to the premiere like the very first one but i don't i don't know if he's gonna go to all of them because i mean like He's already seen it once like why does he need to go again you know <laughs> um but yeah uh when will i stream next um i don't know maybe tomorrow because <laughs> i'm like obsessed with this game right now so maybe tomorrow but definitely again this week sometime tomorrow or wednesday i'm thinking but like i said it'll be back at this time around this time again like 2 p.m just because i'm off hella early so why the fuck not um, I'm gonna have to like find out which game I'm gonna play next because like we're almost done this one like we only have four more souls left so um, I might start control the that game that's in the Alan Wake universe but like not Alan Wake so to see us exactly I still need to get like a yeah I don't know okay I'm gonna I need to go on Etsy and search for Stardew Valley clothing because like I don't know that 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 mushroom forest that mushroom one looks cute but i don't like how it has text on it like i think it says like treats of the forest under it like i'd rather just be the mushrooms but i don't know we'll see 
I have I have a cute dress I can wear if it comes down to it, but I wanted something cuter and Stardew Valley, -y, so. But yeah. Oh, maybe you can ask them. Ooh, I could. I, I mean, I'm assuming it's just like an embroidery machine and you just kind of, like, I don't know if they're handmade or not, or if they just like, like if the machine does it, like you put the pattern in and then it does it itself. I don't know. I don't sew. I don't sew. I can use like a needle and thread and maybe doing a line of a stitch on the sewing machine and that's it. So, but okay. I'm going to end the stream here. I will see you guys later. I hope you guys all have a good rest of your Monday. Bye. Bye-bye.